How's it going everybody? It's time for another great Mr. Post Owl video. And today, finally, we did the unboxing the other day. We we're talking about the Kickstarter that I got through there the other day. We did the unboxing. So now let's talk about and do the gameplay of Demon Attack, the next wave in Atlantis, a city rebuilt 8-bit melee game that we got, like I said, through the Kickstarter. I pledged $65, paid my $15 shipping and handling, total of $80, and we got these new reimagined games. Two reimaginings of classic games on one cartridge for the ColecoVision video game system. I was really excited about this, like I said in the previous video. Atlantis is one of my all-time favorite games for the Atari 2600. My brother and I uh, my brother that's two years older than me, we used to play the heck out of that game for hours, and then we would play Cosmic Arc. Probably the only thing better to me would be if you had Atlantis and Cosmic Arc on one cartridge together, because we played those so much together. But these are great together. Uh, Demon Attack is another game that a lot of people would probably tell you they like even more than Atlantis. Uh, to me, though, Atlantis was the bomb. Oh, but Demon Attack as a great game as well. So I got in on this Kickstarter a few months ago and uh, it was funded by March 19th and every step of the way uh, they let us know what was going on, what was happening uh, as we went. So it was great. We got emails all the time, updates, what was going on. And uh, actually these weren't supposed to be mailed out yet and they were. And uh, I had talked to him and you know, he let us know that we could get our names put in the games since we backed this thing. And originally I was going to get Mr. Postal, just my channel's name in there. And he said, sure, just send me a message and we'll do that. But then I decided, okay, just go ahead and put my real name, which you'll see is in the game. Really cool. And we'll also get a digital copy of this game that I can put on my SD card to play on my Phoenix. Now here in the gameplay, I'm going to be playing the cartridge on my Phoenix. But I showed you in the unboxing what we got in the box. But this is the box. Came in really nice. It shows both Demon Attack, the next wave, New Atlantis, a city rebuilt, Classics Reimagined Volume 1 for use with the ColecoVision 8 bit milli games. And then it has your description on the back. And then inside, as I showed you before. We got our Certificate of Authenticity. Then the Retro Games Club. Retro Gamer Club. Retro Gamers Club. Dot US. So go check that out. Go check his website out. 8bitmillygames.com And you can still order this game here along with a few other great games that he has made as well. The instruction manual is reversible. Check out my video from before. The unboxing of everything inside great manual that came with it and of course the totally awesome cartridge that came inside nice white cartridge nice heft to it both games right inside right there for you so since we went through all that unboxing before and I just showed you again briefly real quick here uh, without further ado let's get right to the gameplay show you how it fires up what it looks like how it feels what all we can do and then we'll get to the wrap up. Stay tuned. Magic Experts has created the toughest game for Atari's video system. Demon attack! Move over there, fire breath. You not good enough for demon attack. You win this for the moon. I'm winning. Good work, Voltar. Demon Attack really is tough. The Magic Demon Attack. Tough. In television version. Coming soon. So you created Atlantis for a magic. I was at Atlantis. The skies above the underwater city filled with Gorgon attack vessels. Three century posts fought desperately, but they were no match for the Gorgon death rays. But you're here. I thought the Gorgons destroyed everybody at Atlantis. Atlantis by a magic is for Atari and in television systems. <laughs> no 
Okay, here we have our Collectivision Phoenix. We have our original cart inside. We have our Classics Reimagined Volume 1 by 8-Bit Millie Games. This is my copy here. Physical Edition. Demon Attack, The Next Wave, and New Atlantis, A City Rebuilt. So, popped in fresh and new. Got my Coleco original controller hooked to. This is actually an Atom controller that came with my Phoenix. Turn on the power. See my reflection? Hello! Mr. Postal here. And fire it up. It should come up on screen. 8-bit Millie Games. And there's our title screen. Really cool. Some volume going here. So Demon Attack, the next wave is the first game. Come down to New Atlantis, the City Rebuilt Classics Reimagined Volume 1, versions 1.3, 2022, 8-bit Millie Games. There we go. That's my real name, Patrick Henry, Mr. Post out here. Patrick Henry, thank you for your support. That's really cool. So there's my name. There's my name, forever in a game. Of course, when I'm dead and gone, the family will probably just sell this off. Say, let's get rid of all of his stuff. Let's get whatever we can for it. And they won't even know it's here, but then, you know, there it is. I think that's really cool. So there's my name in the game. That's my claim to fame. <coughs> Mr. Postal. And again, there was the option. I asked him at one point if I could have Mr. Postal put in there. And he said, yeah, just send me a message. But then I'm like, you know what? I'll keep my real name in the game. So there it is. Now there is the option here. I can have just a plain background. If I push the uh, fire button, the right fire button, on here it'll just have plain background if I push the left fire button uh, on here it will have like different backgrounds like the moon and or planet or whatever so let me hit uh, just the regular one here for the first game and I'm gonna be terrible of course I'm gonna be terrible you've come to know and love that so I'll hit the easy mode I'm still gonna die you know, with this Phoenix, I can use other controllers as well. A lot of times I'll use a Super Nintendo controller. But uh, I'm using the Atom controller, which is also just a beige, a whitish version of the original ColecoVision controller. Uh, with the number pad and everything on it. So, but the throw of it, of the joystick itself, the little leaf springs underneath. can be a little rough sometimes, but... Here we go. I'm just going to hit one. This is the no background version of it. So. And I'm dead already. And I'm dead already. <laughs> you suck, Bo. I know. That's okay. It looks beautiful. I have it today. Loving it. I am going to have to try this though with the uh, Super Nintendo controller. This feels better in my hand, so I will have to hook that up and give it a try. There's Poe already gone. Already gone. But if we hit the reset here, now I'm going to hit that left button. Bit Millie Games. Now if I hit that left fire button, and now I hit the one for easy, you're gonna see beautiful backgrounds. There you go. Whoops. You already knew that. It's me. If I have time, I don't know, my car is in the garage for state inspection. If I have time, maybe I'll hook up that Super Nintendo controller. I definitely will down the road. I'll play this game again. This is just the first one. I play this again down the road for my channel. I'll use the Super Nintendo controller. 
Well, there isn't a lot of time today. It is Good Friday, but I have my car in for inspection and there's a lot of work. I travel an hour to work, an hour back, every day, five, six, sometimes seven days a week. I need four new tires. I need brakes and brake pads and rotors in the back. And they close early today because it's Good Friday, so she's going to be calling me back soon. They're going to need their money, and i got to pick up the car before they close. So i got to go to work Monday. Terrible. Doing terrible. There's my name. See it? You see it? That's me. That's me. I don't remember what the hot press is on. Anyway, for this one and two and all that, I would have to look that up if you're using the Super Nintendo controller. There's certain configurations you have to use. move on then. Let's move on here. Let's see. Here's, this is the game. Atlantis. I love this so much growing up with my brother. We would play Atlantis and its sequel, Cosmic Arc, for hours. For hours on the Atari 2600. So then six and a half years ago I bought my first in television and I went to a little mom and pop uh, retro game store and I found a boxed Atlantis for the Intellivision and was blown away by how good it looked and it was different as well. I, I loved it. Unfortunately that little store closed down. But uh, you know let's let's play it. Oh, I already I already picked my little ship. What do they call the ship? Now you couldn't do this part of it on the 2600 so but they did have this little ship of yours on in television the magic was my favorite third part of the company when i was a kid for the 2600 followed by activision get your crosshairs up try to lead them i can be very terrible at this Lead him. This guy's fast. See there? Careful. He's gonna nuke me. Yep. No! <laughs> and this is easy. This is the easy mode. Whoa, buddy. here. You get your different times of the day. You see the sky changes. Your cycle, your day cycle. Nighttime you'll see you just have a searchlight to go by. It's rough. Rough. But once they get to the bottom, that's when they get their attacks. You want to take them out. Your Gorgons, is that what they call them? It used to be a magic commercial. If I remember, I'll throw it in here too. I'm just messing up left and right now. No, no, no! Concentrate. Now you want, will run out of ammo for each side. day. Fresh. They look like squid. Getting 
quick, buddy. I do think the ColecoVision controller is working well for this. The demon attack, yeah, I think that... Super Nintendo controller would be a little more forgiving with that slide left to right. Uh oh, I'm out of ammo for that slide. Okay, not anymore. New cycle. A fresh new day. Whoops. I'll wait for him. He'll be back. He'll be back. How you doing there? There we go. Hmm. on me. Oh no, no, you don't want to waste shots. No, Mr. Poe. Don't waste shots. We regained anyway. We re oh boy. This is getting nuts. We're going to lose everything here, fellas. It's been good to know you. been good to know you. <laughs> Send up the ship. Yay! Punk There we go. Yeah. Send them up, boys. Send them up. Getting wild here. Forgot to send them up. Killed me. Already missing. Day one. about that car. <laughs>
Gorgon is a fight. I can attack. Oh, gotta pay attention. There's our day cycle going here. And our evening. I'm gonna push the left button this time whenever I was starting, so we got our cycling going here. Colors in the sky have changed. And wait do you see nighttime? It's gonna get crazy with the spotlight. You can't see anything except for where the spotlight hits. It is nuts! lights. everything. Gotta focus. Having problems with my joystick to move here. Wow, I'm missing everything. Game over, man. Game over. But you get the idea. Really great game. And I'm gonna give us another whirl with my Super Nintendo controller on the Collective Vision Phoenix. Once I remember, I'm going to have to dig out my instructions for it to remember what the keys are. Now again, the keys is the only reason I need to know the number of keys is to select the uh, easy, etc. the modes for it. So, But yeah, really, really cool. Uh, let's get to the wrap-up and we'll talk about it. But uh, I'm really enjoying this. Again, two great games in one. And actually, you got the three different modes for each. And, and more than that. You have a New Atlantis city rebuilt. You can cycle through uh, the different times of the day there. And then you got Demon Attack, the next wave, where you can have really cool looking backgrounds where you can just have it plain. So, really great. I'm really glad that I got in on this Kickstarter. Uh, thank you very much. 8 Bit Millie Games, this is cool. And the last I saw, this is still available on the website. It's $65 for the game. That was $15 shipping and handling I paid. <coughs> so $80 total. And yeah, that's friggin' awesome. I really hope to see more from them. I hope this becomes a whole collection. Like I said, it says this is volume one. So thank you, William Hicks, Millie. Really sweet. I'm going to enjoy the heck out of this for a long time. Alright guys, let's go to the wrap up. Alright, so there you have it. That was 
Demon Attack, The Next Wave, and Atlantis, A City Rebuilt. That were the classics reimagined volume one by 8-Bit Millie Games. Go to 8BitMillieGames.com uh, if you want to order your own. They have them for now on there along with a few other really cool looking games on there. Uh, I thought it was absolutely great. Absolutely awesome. I love, love, love both of the games. Now, like I showed on there, if you're holding the controller and have the stick here, the fire button on this side will display if you push it before you choose which level you want on Demon Attack. This button over here <laughs> will uh, display a background if you want it. Or just hit the other fire button for no background. Now, with Atlantis, uh, a city rebuilt, you hit that button there if you want to cycle through all of the times of the day, you know, your daytime, afternoon, or evening, and nighttime. Or if you just want to have it all daytime, you hit the other button on the other side there. Then you hit your level that you want to play. So that's a really cool idea. What a challenge, huh? What a challenge there. Even on easy, Atlantis can get crazy, especially at night with just the spotlight. What a great job, man. I'm, I I love Atlantis. I've said it a billion times, and that's very challenging. And, uh, you know, just as much as I, I loved uh, the Intellivision version all that much more than 2600 moving up to it, I love this one even more, the Intellivision one. So, and, you know, check out 8 Bit Millie's Facebook group as well, the uh, ColecoVision and Adam Fanatics Facebook group. Now, if you have an Adam, or you have a ColecoVision, or you have a ColecoVision Phoenix, Definitely check out this game. Go to his website, uh, 8bitmilligames.com, and order the thing. Give it a try. What did you think of the gameplay? Did you like that? Did you think it was cool? Were you a fan of the game on the 2600 or on the uh, in television? I definitely am. That's why I was there for it. And I talked to him afterwards too, and he said his office is in uh, Ohio, so that's why I got the game quick. And actually, he's from Western Pennsylvania as well as I am. His, just his, his office is in Ohio, so that's why I was able to get the game so quickly, which is really cool. So hopefully I'm able to meet up with him again this fall at the Pittsburgh Gaming Expo. I go to his booth and buy some more awesome stuff from him. And if you get the chance, check out his Retro Gamers Club, RetroGamersClub.us and see what he has to offer there and maybe sign up and join up. Uh, I give this an A++++ because I love Atlantis and Demon Attack is no slouch at all. Demon Attack, the next wave. If you like Demon Attack, you're going to love this version of it. Uh, I think it's great. And I'm going to be playing a lot more of this. I said original hardware, Collector Vision Phoenix. It came out beautiful on my nice big screen in my living room there. I am not disappointed at all with this purchase, and it wasn't that awesome to see my name on the screen there. Really cool. And the cartridge itself, it's just so smooth and so slick and so much heft to it, and the, the white. The white is popping. Popping fresh. So definitely check this out. Like I said, $65, 15 shipping and handling is what I paid. So. $80 total. When I first started collecting again and learned about the homebrew scene a while back, my original thoughts were totally backwards how they should be on something like this. My thoughts were I'm going to grab everything from original library for these systems as I can and then after I have all the stuff that I want for the home library, then I'll hit up the homebrew scene. But first I want to get all the other stuff that I never had. I think that's a little bit backwards in thinking now that I've been doing it for so many years because the homebrew stuff, a lot of it, a lot of it, especially the earlier stuff, if you don't get it now while it's hot, while it's out, you're probably never going to see it again. There's a good chance of that, especially the earlier stuff just never came out again. Uh, not even on ROM you were able to get it again. Now some of the stuff, maybe you will. Uh, some of the guys that make it after the physical is done, they will sell it on ROM later down the road. Some of the guys don't. So once it's gone, it's gone forever. You might find somebody selling, and this is just an example, but this might be up on eBay five years from now for 200 bucks, 300 bucks. You don't know that. 
So if you see, and once you start getting into these Facebook groups, uh, you know, start looking stuff up, even on Reddit and stuff, uh, go to Atari Age, different sites like that, uh, and Television Revolution, and you see these homebrews come up for sale, you might want to get them when they're first released. Uh, Collector Vision uh, does a lot of them too. Try to get into them when they're new and fresh. Check them out. A lot of times they'll demo them. There'll be videos on YouTube of them and uh, pre-order them. If you think that they look interesting and fun, get them when you can because prices shoot up on them and then a lot of them, once they're gone, they're gone forever. You're not going to get your hands on them anymore. So you got to think about it that way. I missed out on a bunch of cool ones back when I first started collecting again because I thought, I'll get those down the road. I need to get this game I never had for the Atari back in the 80s. And it's like, I can still get that game. It's here, it's there, it's in lots, it's everywhere. Now I missed out on those homebrews. But again, check out 8bitmilligames.com and uh, check out his Facebook group, the ColecoVision and Adam Fanatics Facebook group. Uh, really cool stuff there. And you're going to find some cool games on there. And yeah, if you're into the homebrew market, there's lots of Facebook groups to find homebrew games for all the old systems, all the old microcomputers, everything that you're looking for. Check them out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the games that you saw me play. I know I suck. You don't have to put that in the comments. But let me know what you think about this game in the comments down below. Is it something that you would try or buy? Are you getting back into collecting? Uh, or homebrew is something that you thought about? Uh, since you're collecting again, if you are collecting again. And thanks as always for joining me. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And hopefully we'll see you next time on another great Mr. Postal ta ching ba ding video. Appreciate you. See you next time. Oh, and have a happy Easter. Yeah, that's this weekend too. Happy Easter. Nacho, come here, Nacho. No biting, no bite. Ooh, no biting. Oh, Nacho, stop.